Well, rates of new coronavirus cases and hospitalizations have been dropping here in New York State, but a statewide rule requiring businesses to uh, mandate mask wearing or proof of vaccination remains in effect until at least February 10th. News 10's Capital Correspondent Jamie DeLine taking a look at what happens next. New York State's mask mandate is set to expire on February 10th. Despite COVID case numbers going down across the state, Governor Hochul says she'll continue to look at the numbers to see if a mask mandate should be extended. Before any decision is made, I'm going to continue having conversations with the heads of hospitals and continuing our conversations with school superintendents that we have been to, and other people that are affected by what we do in business leaders. On December 13th, the governor required the current mandate of masks to be worn in all indoor public places unless businesses implement a vaccine requirement. So far, that has been extended twice. However, when it comes to the length of time students will be wearing masks in school, that remains to be seen. A judge in Nassau County um, named Thomas Rademacher issued a decision uh, declaring that the governor had no authority, that the state of New York had no authority whatsoever to order uh, children um, to wear masks in our public schools. However, a stay is now in place, meaning kids still need to wear their masks in school until the appellate division issues a decision. Assemblyman Charles Levine, who represents a portion of Nassau County, says he wasn't surprised by the lawsuit, but does support the governor's mask mandate. My thoughts as a parent and as a grandparent is that I want our kids protected, um, and that means masks. However, other lawmakers are against it. Republican Senator Jim Tedisco says, quote, our conference has called for an end to the overreaching government mandates on our businesses and schools, such as the mask mandate and a return to fact-based collaborative governing. And again, the general mask mandate could be extended again on February 10th. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Jamie DeLine.